This tutorial shows the step-by-step -step instructions for this lesson in the Omega Learning Guide. At the end of this lesson, your job should look something like this. To begin, open the saved grand opening file from the previous lesson. Select the box tool in the construction toolbar. The pointer changes to a crosshair. Click and drag diagonally to create a box under the text Grand Opening. Click the Selection tool. The box becomes selected. Black boxes appear on each corner and at each of the center points of the box. To make the box longer or shorter, click and drag the side handles. To make the whole shape larger or smaller, click and drag the corner handles. To center the shapes we have so far, click Select All, then click Arrange Justify. The Justify dialog box will open. Select the Horizontal Center Justify button. Be sure that no other buttons are selected and click OK. To add stars to the design, click the Polygon tool in the Construction Toolbar. Position the cursor to the left of the text May 8 and click. The Polygon dialog box will open. Select Star from the Definition Type drop-down list. Turn on Point at Top and Perfect Star in the option boxes. Click OK. Do not be concerned with the size of the star. To size the shape, click the Selection tool to select the star. Click Shape, Absolute Size, and the Absolute Size dialog box will open. Choose Uniform from the Size Type box, and choose Center from the Size From box. Enter 3 in the Height text box and press Tab to automatically enter the length. Click OK when you are finished. Click on a line of the star and drag it to the new location. With the star still selected, click Edit, Copy, then click Edit, Paste. A copy of the star is pasted into the middle of the viewed work surface. Click and drag the star to the right of May 8. You can also use the right-click commands to copy and paste. Holding down the Shift key, select both the stars, then the text May 8. By selecting the text last, the stars align to the pre-positioned text. Click Arrange Justify. Choose the Vertical Height Line button and turn off any horizontal Justify buttons, then click OK. To ensure the same spacing between the stars and the text, you can use the Spacing tool. Click on an empty space on the work surface to deselect all shapes. Select the left-hand star with the Selection tool. Hold down the Shift key and click May 8, then the other star. Click Arrange, Spacing to open the Spacing dialog box. Choose the Horizontal Gap option, then click OK. Grouping multiple shapes together allows them to act as one shape. For example, you can select one object in a group and all the others become selected as well. With the stars and the text May 8 still selected, click Arrange Group. To see how grouping works, cancel the selection by clicking the work surface away from the shapes. Click a star or the text with the Selection tool. Notice how all the shapes in the group are selected. Now, Horizontal Center justify the newly grouped stars and text with a border. If the stars and the text May 8 had not been grouped, each item would have been stacked one on top of the other when center justified. Select everything inside the border, but do not select the border itself. Do this by holding down the Shift key and selecting each shape. Click Arrange Group, then click Select All. Click Arrange Justify and select the center and middle Justify buttons to stack the objects. Click OK when you are finished. This concludes this lesson. Be sure to check if there are any exercises or tip videos associated with this lesson before continuing. For more information on this and other topics, please consult the Omega Help file or press F1 in Composer.